The necessary evil is anything which, despite being considered to have undesirable qualities, is preferable to its absence. You'd rather have it, even though it's got a downside to it. So, so you were you were there, Ohan, because to make money, we have to spend money, right? Expenses are a necessary evil. Okay. Um, so hey, man, life is tough, right? Every day you got to deal with stuff that's tough, you know, and particularly when you got to change when you find yourself in a situation that you're not used to, you know. Um, guys, when I grew up, we moved every four years. So I've lived in like 16 different states all over the, all over the United States. And, and I've lived in big cities and, and small towns. In small towns you can't even locate on a map. And the thing that's tough about moving a lot, particularly when, when you're growing up, is that you're constantly having to make new friends. Everywhere you go, you know, you walk in and you're the new guy, right? You know, everybody wants to make fun of you. You don't look like everybody else. You don't talk like everybody else, you know? If you're from the south and you move up north, you got a southern accent and vice versa, right? So it's tough, you know? And so how do you cope with situations that are tough? Well, what I'm going to talk to you today about it are, are three things that you can do, three tools that you can lean on to help you cope in, in, in a tough circumstance, which is models, you know, modeling, modeling your behavior, memberships, and mentors. These are three things that you can rely on. Now, what I'm going to tell you, though, and, and this is why I give you the intro about it being a necessary evil, is just like anything else in life, you know, too much of a good thing ain't a good thing, right? When we're in an unusual circumstance, you kind of model yourself, your own behavior and how you dress and how you look after what you see other people doing, right? That's one of your coping mechanisms when you're in a weird situation. So, again, kind of following this theme of necessary and evil, you know, imagine yourself walking into this classroom and you, you're not from here, right? You know, suppose that you come in and you're from Europe and you speak with a British accent. You know, you're going to stick out a little bit, right? You know, maybe your clothes, maybe you dress differently in Europe than they do here in Atlanta, right? So, so what's one of the first things you're going to do? I mean, that makes you uncomfortable. It's stressful, right? Probably what's one of the first things you're going to do when you come into a certain circumstance like that is you, know, you might get some new clothes, you know? You know, folks in Europe, believe it or not, they don't wear jeans as much as we do, you know? My guess is that after you were here for a day, you'd be going out and buying jeans, so you'd kind of look like everybody else. Makes you a little bit more comfortable, right? You know, so, so what's the good thing about modeling your behavior? It makes, it, it, it makes you fit in. It makes, it makes you more comfortable, you know? You know, but modeling can be evil, too, right? Where do you think, when, when do you think you can go wrong by modeling you, yourself after what somebody else is doing? You got it, right? Somebody's doing something bad. What else? Sometimes models do things that you can't do, you know? I mean, hey, I'm, I'm a motivational guy. I want to tell you that you can do anything you want to do in your life, right? But let me tell you some things I can't do. I can't run a four-minute mile, okay? I'm 40 years old, man. I can't do it. I'd love to be able to do it, but I can't. Maybe some of you guys can, but I can't do that, right? So if I'm trying to model myself after what somebody else is doing and I can't do that, well, that's not possible and that's not a good thing for me to be doing, right? So the problem is that modeling can only get you so far, you know? At the end of the day, you have to be yourself. So what's good about being a member of a group? Hmm? You get to know other people, man, right? That's how you get to know people in this world, right? We're all social people. Nobody, no matter how antisocial you may be, you've got, you got to be, you, you got to interact. We're humans. That's what we do. Bottom line is that people accomplish more in groups than they can on their own. If you get together, you got a test to study for. You know, hey, you got to get a study group together, right? So groups can help you when you have to change and you have to, you have to learn new things and, and, and figure things out that you didn't know on your own, right? Or accomplish stuff. The groups can also have their downsides. What, what, is, what are some of the evils, some of the downsides about being in a group or being in a clique, to use your, use your term? We have a term in business called group think. Has anyone ever heard of group think? Yeah. Well, there's another term I know you guys have heard of, gangs, right? Yes. Right? You ever been in a group and, and, and everybody's doing something that you don't think is right or you know in your heart's not right, but it's really hard to not do it too? That's where confidence comes. Exactly right, because you know what? If, you, if you're living according to your value system and these people have a different value system, well, you need to get away from those people, right? You're better off with no friends than with bad friends, right? 
Mentors. Who can tell me what a mentor is? Whenever you're in a situation you don't know what to do or you've never encountered it before, hey, why reinvent the wheel? Why don't you ask somebody else? Maybe they can help you, right? Maybe they've been through it before. They know what works and what doesn't work, right? Right? So, so what are some of the downsides? They can be biased. They can be untrustworthy. Inaccurate. You know, they don't know what they're talking about, right? I mean, everyone loves to give advice. That doesn't mean they always know what they're talking about, right? Life is tough, man. Every day is a challenge, right? You got to face it with a positive attitude. You got to face it with confidence. And you got to believe that you're going to achieve what you want to achieve. But there's things that you can do along the way to help yourself. Because you're not going to get there by yourself. It's okay to model your behavior after other people. We all do it. It really helps you fit in. Helps you feel more comfortable, right? It's okay to join groups. That's how you grow and meet other people and learn new things. It's okay to seek out mentors and people that have been, been there before, veterans, that can give you some advice and guide your path. Just always remember, you know, it's on you. It's up, it's up to you to go where you gotta go and, and recognize that these, these are necessary evils.